G'day, Gemini. Welcome to TJ Terry Down Under. So we're going to do your love energy coming towards you, is it, this week? So this could be someone from the past, present or future. It is love energy, so keep that in mind. Cross watches. This could be you. This could be someone else. So keep that in mind. It is just love energy. Thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. They're greatly appreciated. Like, really awesome. Thank you so much. And um, if this doesn't resonate, check out your other placements because there may be another video which relates to your current situation. All right. Bottom of the deck for you, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, Gemini, you're calling in a soulmate, are you? Mm, very nice. Let's see what comes in. Three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So someone sees it's safe to open their heart to you. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Woohoo. They see you as true love, Gemini. Wow. And playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they might come in a little bit playful towards you. Hopefully not acting like a player. Bottom of the deck, past life relationship. We've known each other before. This could be someone from a past life that you haven't met in this life. So don't go, oh, someone from the past. <laughs> it could be your past life. It could be someone from your past. Um, they want a higher level of commitment with you. They're going to make that effort and they have self-respect and they know how to love themselves first. So that's good. They do understand self-love. All right. Let's get into it. Mm, true love. You're calling in a soulmate, and they see you as true love. Is this the one you're calling in, Gemini? Let's see what the message for you is at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Long-term commitment. Long-term stability. Let's move my chair in. Wow, that's what you're looking for, isn't it? Long-term stability. Long-term commitment. All right, let's have a look. It's safe for you to love. The love energy coming towards Gemini. What can you tell us about it's safe for you to love? Okay, Six of Pentacles and oh, the Hangman. Hanging Man. Oh, excuse me. So... They think it's safe to come in and open their heart to you. They want things to be balanced between you two. <coughs> Whatever you give, they're going to give in return. But... <coughs> Sorry. They're feeling a bit stuck. Feeling like some sort of sacrifice has to be made. I want to see, looking at things from a different perspective. Mm, I'm afraid this might not go anywhere. Could be a dead end. But they do want things balanced here, but I'm not sure about that hangman yet. 
Mm, I'm feeling a bit stark. I definitely want things balanced because there's the scales again. Justice. Karmic justice. Justice system. They definitely want balance things, have things balanced with you. Is it they're going to have to make some sort of sacrifice to do this? To balance things out with you? Maybe they want to give you more. But they know they've got to keep things balanced. What's under the deck now? Ooh, Five of Swords. Ooh. Worried about head games. They do want growth with you. They're worried about confusion. But you are their happiness. Uh, they could be fantasizing about you and about growing things with you. Worried, worried they're going to sabotage this. Mmm. Hmm. Interesting. It's safe. And they want things balanced, but there's some sort of sacrifice here. This is, hmm. Sacrificing something to make things balanced. Worried it's not going to go anywhere. I think it's they want they're willing to open their heart and they want things definitely they want things balanced. Maybe they would just want to give more. Mm, these are pentacles. Okay. Well, tell me about true love for this love energy coming towards Gemini. We have the wheel. I oh, don't take reversals. The wheel and the emperor. So they think this is the romance of a lifetime. They've been waiting for this. They've been waiting for that wheel to turn. Staying in control. Ruling their empire. Can you try to control time? Can't control time, mate. The wheel will turn the way the wheel will turn. No one controls the wheel. Trying to stay in control while that wheel is turning. The emperor's all four, four kings rolled into one, which all four the four the kings have mastered their elements, so he's mastered all four elements. He knows how to run an empire, could be a businessman. Someone who knows how to run stuff. Keep everything running smoothly and everything in control. Does like things to be there with their way, but they can't control time. The wheel turns when the wheel turns. It could be a bit stubborn. And although they want things balanced, they've got to look at things from a different perspective here because... They can't control everything. Knight of Cups. Love action. Knights are action. And this is the Knight of Love. A Knight of Love. <laughs> um, yeah. They see you as their true love. They're waiting. That, that wheel has turned. They've got to keep themselves in control, but they do want to show some sort of love action here because they see you as their true love. But they've got to let things unfold naturally here. They've got to keep themselves in control. Possibly have to sacrifice. Giving too much. Hmm... They want things to transform. I've been dreaming about you or 
having to heal from some sort of oh it was a painful ending here they've had a painful very painful ending here they're charging forward with the truth straight to healing so they've had to transform themselves from healing to charging forward on from with the truth about a painful ending here there's all swords three swords Sword, sword, swords, and death. All very similar colours here. The blue and the purple. Hmm. Very painful ending that they've learnt something from, but they're healing now and they've transformed themselves. Alright. This is fairly intense, yeah. They've looked at what they've invested in and they want to talk to you about that. A passionate passionate message about investing in you. And what they've possibly learned from what they've invested in before. Very passionate. Very truthful energy. Very... But we do have the Knight of Cups here. Here, they want victory with you. They definitely want victory with you. This could be someone from the past that wants to balance things out after feeling stuck. Could have just felt stuck. They're trying to control their world, trying to stay in control while the wheel turns, waiting for this opportunity, for this true love to take some sort of action on it. Tell me about playfulness for this love energy coming towards Gemini. Okay, that goes on there. We have, ooh, there's swords again. Ace of swords. Eight of swords. Nine of pentacles. And five of wands. Okay, so they may come in playful to recapture some romance here. But the truth is, this is doing their head in, being single. And they're really conflicted about that. They're single and they're stable and they're independent and they've got their shit together. They've got money, they've got good clothes, they've got a nice garden. Normally it's in the picture. And they've got a pet falcon. <laughs> so, hey. <laughs> They want to speak this truth, but it's still in their head in, being single. They're worried about competition here too. They know they've got to make a move. So even though they're acting playful, they want more than that. They think about you all the time. They can see you as stable and independent with competition. So they're going to come in and speak some sort of truth, but they're going to come in and do it playfully. With a bit of playful action. A message of love. Messenger of love. Could be an apology, but... Um, yeah, if it is someone from the past, it could be an apology, but it also could just be a small offer of love and affection and emotion. Hmm. Hmm. Now we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. They made this judgment call. It could be a reconciliation. But they do want this passionate beginning with you. They want to charge forward triumphantly. But they're feeling a bit burdened at the moment. This is a lot of weight for them to carry. About whether this will move forward. Will you accept that? Will you charge forward with them? Will you accept their passionate offer? Are they making the right judgment call? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's find out some more about them and get a message for you. Off the bottom. Alright. 
message for you is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So is there something you need to change in your life? Is there something you need to grow and evolve with some movement? Hmm, interesting. Alright, something to think about. Alright, love and energy coming towards Gemini. Three cards, please. What else can you tell us? There's only two. And one more. Whoa, three. Beautiful. Okay. Oop, messing up the cards. We have Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So they definitely like peace. And want this to be a peaceful transition. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So something to do with friendship. Maybe they'll be happy just to be friends with you. But I don't see that because they're really conflicted about this. A bit controlling. And gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Well, that's good. Okay, maybe they are someone who's in the friend zone at the moment. Bottom of the deck, self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So, they could have some self-esteem issues here. They're looking for forgiveness and honesty over a judgment call that was made. Or the judgment call that they've made. They're looking for honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So they're coming in honest. I'm hoping you can forgive them, maybe, for their blunt honesty here. Um, something to do with self-esteem. Could have self-esteem issues. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. They could have a high self esteem, being that the Emperor is here. One more, okay. why they're just coming in a bit playful because they don't want to put their heart on the line and hurt their self-esteem bottom of the deck for you is three of wands wait be patient wait for this ship to come in um yeah don't go rushing into this person i think you need to wait for them to come to you that being the emperor the emperor will approach um because he takes action and gets done what he needs doing so yeah, the message here for you is to wait, Gemini. Alright, tell us about peace. What is peace here for this love energy coming towards Gemini? Alright, so we have the Seven of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Sun. <coughs> so... They're trying to keep the peace between you two, keep things balanced. There is a bit of confusion and illusions at the moment and unsure, so they could be holding back their love. They do have a lot of love for you, but the, excuse me, the King of Cups doesn't show his love. He's mastered his emotions. Um, so, yeah, while there's this confusion here, they're holding back their love, but you are their happiness. Look at the sun. You are their happiness. But they're a bit confused at the moment because things are a bit too peaceful maybe. There's not much action happening. They do want to keep key peace but there's a tower. Divine stepping in and 
blowing things up, changing things around, sudden change. <clears throat> yeah, they want to keep things smooth and peaceful between you, even though this is, this is going to be shocking. <laughs> it's probably going to come out of nowhere. Um, they don't want to cause any confusion. Or create any illusions here. So they will hold back their love a bit, even though they know you are their happiness. But this is going to be a bit shocking. There's going to be a bit of a shock here um, when it comes to this happening. I think it's going to be a bit of a shock. Page of Pentacles. It could be a meeting in person, a message in person, or pages of messengers. And this is the Page of Pentacles. So that is 3D. Could be a handwritten note, could be something physical, could be a gift. Ooh, there's some sort of heartbreak they're trying to balance out from. Mm, they couldn't make a decision. Had a bit of a crossroads. Trying to keep themselves balanced and be patient. They don't want their heart broken. So I think they're coming in with a very small offering here. Hmm, it'll still be shocking. They are going to change things up out of nowhere. <clears throat> Alright, tell me about friendship for this love energy coming towards Gemini. Tell me about friendship. Why are these cards not wanting to shuffle? Come on, tell me about friendship. Tell me about friendship, please. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this definitely could be someone in your friend zone. Someone you've known in the past that is just a friend. They want to move away from just being a friend and step into that love. Yeah. Because that's not, friendship isn't enough for them. It's not fulfilling them. They want to offer this love. Eight and one is nine, which is the self-fulfilled love, you know, the wish fulfillment. Emotional. Um, yeah, they want to offer this, but mm, they're holding back. I think they don't want to wreck the friendship if it... If their cup gets refused, but they definitely want to offer this Ace of Cups to you. They want to walk away from just being friends. But they are holding back. Get worried. Temperance. Again. So, hmm, will this blend well? Will the cups blend together? they got to be patient here. Because you are a friend, a good friend. They don't want to lose that friendship. They want, they're going to be patient. I'm getting there a bit patiently, slowly walking out of that friend zone and into the love zone. <laughs> um, yeah, they know they've got to be patient and let, that, let the cups blend. Interesting. Yeah, but they're undecided on how to do this. Ooh, they've got to come up with a plan. They do want to offer you something, but they're worried about heartbreak, like I said. Could be a bit sneaky about this. They're trying to be sneaky. <laughs> it's not cheating line stealing. It's, uh, this is, I'm getting sneaky. They're trying to be sneaky about this because they don't want to get their heart broken. It's a good friendship. It's a solid friendship. They do want to send a stable, solid offer to you, but mm, they're still trying to work out a strategy on how to do that. And they don't know how to do that. So they're being patient. They do want to walk out of that friend zone. Mm. Yeah. They're feeling a bit restricted at the moment. Mm. 
this is restriction in this deck. Hmm. Feeling very restricted. Ooh, what do we got now? Yep, they definitely want to transform things into this Ten of Cups. They want this love relationship with you, that's for sure. Alright, tell me about gratitude for this love energy coming towards Gemini. Okay. We have the Death card, we've got the Ace of Swords, and the Hermit. So, yeah, I think, gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I'm getting opportunity presents itself for them to transform this, because it's still in their head and they've thought long and hard about it. They've gone within and they've done a lot of soul searching regarding this. Just doing their head in though. They can't stop thinking about it all day. Uh. And they definitely want to transform this. I think they'll just be grateful. They'll be great and they'll be extremely grateful for an opportunity to arise. For it to present itself for them to transform this. Because they've done some... Serious thinking about it. Seven of Wands. They're going to stand their ground. They're going to fight for you. Fight for you. <laughs> Not with you. <laughs> um, yeah. And they would gladly step up to do that. But they're, they're, they're a bit stuck in their head about it. Just fighting with themselves even. Getting that courage to stand up. and They've thought long and hard about this. and it, They'd just be grateful for the, the chance for this to present itself. It's playing on their self-esteem as well. And we have justice again, which we have here. The scales again. They just want things balanced between you two. And they're going to take that leap of faith. Be a bit foolish. They're really having to control their passions here. Control their actions and their passions. King of Wands mastered his element of passion and action. It's really having to control that and master that element within themselves. And, yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. They're wishing on that star. Going to take that leap of faith because they want things balanced between you two. They want you to feel, they're hoping that you feel the same way that they do. Wow. Really struggling to control themselves. <laughs> uh, wow, Gemini. I think they yeah, the the peace. <laughs> He's gonna get it. You just be peacefully hanging out one day, and bam, they're gonna throw it on you. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is for you. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So, that's right, you could be just out having a cup uh, with each other, having a coffee, enjoying their friendship, and bam. <laughs> Alright, tell us more about this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Oh, we've got addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Yeah, they might be a bit addicted to you, but there's that controlling there with the... <sighs> I 
they want that world to turn so they can take action. They've really got to keep themselves under control. There's an addiction to you here. Then we've got acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Whoa. Perhaps they haven't been speaking to you lately. They might have walked away from the friendship because they do want to offer this love they're holding back. Mm, silent treatment. Nothing worse than ghosting. What a coward's act. Don't be a coward. Speak. If you don't like someone, freaking tell them. This is ghosting shit. Anyway. <laughs> Can tell I have no no appreciation of ghosting. <laughs> it's just pathetic. Anyway. Um, yeah. So this could be someone you've broken up with. They could be worried that they're gonna destroy this friendship. Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. Yeah, they're hesitating from shooting that arrow or letting Cupid shoot that arrow. They really want to shoot this arrow. <laughs> Have this arrow shot at you, <laughs> Cupid. <coughs> it could be that tower, that surprise meeting or invitation out for coffee. And then they throw it on you. They want to end this friendship. And photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, yeah. They look at all the photos of the fun times that you've had together as friends. And they want to make new memories with you. They miss, miss you, nostalgia, all, all those moments that they're missing where they could have love with you and not just friendship. Wow. Bottom of the deck is the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So they're going to be lighthearted and playful about this to find out how you feel. Because they want this paradise with you. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness there. Playfulness. Oneness, enjoying each other. Coffee, there it is. Meeting and conversing, savouring the moment. Feeling uplifted, friendship. And all oh, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So mm, that's that self-esteem. So they've, got, they've done a bit of self-work. They focus on their self, possibly with their self-esteem. Had to heal from something. Um, yeah. They think they're ready to come in and offer you that coffee to... Go from friendship to a bit more. Adapt and change. Mmm. Jim, Jim, Gemini. Interesting. Wow. They definitely want more than friendship here. And I think they're willing to sacrifice the friendship for more. <laughs> I know you're all going through your friends list now going, oh, I wonder who it is. Is it this one, this one, this one? <laughs> I don't think you're going to know. I think it's going to be a bit of a shock to you. Message for you is, I'm scared I'll get hurt, so I run. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Are you going to get scared? You're going to hurt this with friendship, so are you going to run? Mm, not a good idea. Will be what it will be, like, you know. Be nice and gentle with them. Don't hurt, try not to hurt them. If it isn't someone that you're interested in, don't run, though. <sighs> Dear. Yeah, be mature. Mm. Just explain to them that it's, you just want to stay friends, if that's the case. If it is more, that's good. But don't freak out and run, though. <laughs> All right. What would this love energy coming towards Gemini? What would they like to say to Gemini? Whoa. 
Wow. Alright, that was first, then that one. And then in the explosion. Alright, we have I'm Going Crazy Without You. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They are. Let me sing you. Going Crazy. I Love Holding You. Ooh, so someone that's held you before, possibly in a friendly way, but actually wanted more. Mmm. I look at your pictures a lot. Yeah, well, that's there with that photograph. So they're definitely checking out your shots. Checking out your pictures. I only want to be with you. Mmm. Yeah, they might come in playful, but they definitely want only you. I feel like I'm losing you. Well, they might lose you as a friend. They're hoping that they don't lose you as a friend if it doesn't work out. Or that they do lose you as a friend and you become lovers. Mm. You are so hot. <laughs> Gemini. You're hot. <laughs> of course you are. But yeah, they think you're hot. Mm. That could be that addiction. <laughs> they definitely think you're hot. And sexy. All right, and I'm always thinking about you. Wow. Looking at your pictures. I only want to be with you. Love holding you. Waiting for that Cupid's arrow. Always thinking about you. Well, there you go. Bottom of the deck is I'm scared I'll get hurt. So I run again. They're just as scared as you are. <laughs> You're packing yourself now, aren't you? <laughs> Which one of your friends is it? <laughs> Friend asks you to go out for coffee. You go, oh, no, it's not you, is it? <laughs> You're not going to... Oh, sorry. You're not going to know. The yawns. What's going on? <coughs> so they're just as scared to do this as you, <coughs> as you are. Mm. You feel like home. They they feel feel like you're their home. They wish things were different. That you weren't just friends, and they can't do this anymore. They can't stay in the friend zone anymore. They can't handle it. They want things to be different. You feel like home to them, um, but they're scared. They're gonna get hurt. Just like you're scared that you're gonna get hurt or you're gonna hurt this friendship. Yeah. Don't be scared. Because it's like a band-aid. Just rip it off. <laughs> there might be some pain, but then you can move on from that. Um, could move into this beautiful love. But you're never going to know unless you try. So, mmm, wow. This could be someone from the past, though, but we hope to have friendship. Someone who's just a friend now. A past friend. Mm. Wow. Well, there you go, Gemini. All right. Well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And is this being fuzzy the whole bloody time? Don't piss me off. Stupid bloody thing. So annoying. Alright, oh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, like I said, and we'll do another reading next week and see what's going on. See if this friend does turn into true love. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, all the best. Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you later.